just want to show you how strange it looked with all the uh, motor taken out. And obviously the blades, the gears and the bearings. Yes, so the motor is over on the bench. These are the rotor discs off my uh, axial flux. Quarter inch. Whoa! Go on, lad. They're quarter inch, tw uh, so yeah, quarter inch, I think, there. 12 inch across. And they're the ones that had the uh, bolts welded on for jacking up, which is, I, I used two bolts for some reason, and you should never do that. Oh, and there's two on the other side as well. So, May, uh, think about reusing them sometime. This was a blade hub that I'd made. Uh, I didn't fancy using a wooden one, so that's just a 12 inch disc. Uh, three mil, I guess, two, even two and a half perhaps, and then we've got three metal plates welded on, and they're about four and a half, five mil. That, these might be eight mil actually. We'll check. It's got some big old rust. And just under nine. I think they're uh, three eights. Is that about right? But anyway, that's another story. So I'm, what I need to do is I need to find some metal to make two more of these out of to go on the inside. So I took the liberty of making some measurements off camera. This is the one kilowatt motor. Sorry, I'll pause a second. And this is the three kilowatt motor. And there is a there is a considerable difference in size. Mainly, sorry, let me get out of the sun. Mainly the width of what I call the magnetic core. That's 30 mil on the one kilowatt, and it's 50 mil on the three kilowatts. So the magnets are 50 mil tall in this one and 35 mil tall in this one. Uh, the spindle width, uh, the one kilowatt is a 14 mil, so M14. This one uh, is a 17 mil, a three kilowatt. The diameter of both motors, which appears as the height as we're looking now, is both exactly the same, 240. Uh, the weights are approximations, one kilowatt, five to seven, this one 10 to 12, uh, and quite a difference in measurement with the length of the spindle which is obviously why we're having to make the modifications the spindle on the one kilowatt is 175 mil and on the three kilowatt it's 230 mil what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to put the so this is the one kilowatt and you can see either end uh, this for clarity is a little bit bent either end I haven't decided whether I'm going to waste time folding it in or whether I'm just going to weld brackets on under here and then use these, this type thing, to clamp it. Un momento. And there you can see the crazy difference. You know, the one kilowatt didn't even fill the whole space, but that one's got an inch on one end and sort of 15 mil on the other. It can be moved backwards and forwards. But I think the thing about the three kilowatt motor is the juice is definitely in there, the power is in there, a lot of it, but the turbine would either need to be taller, uh, 20 feet taller, or have bigger blades, or but ideally both, because it's got only got a 10 foot rotor and a 3 kilowatt axial flux would have a 20 foot rotor. So that's just why I'm mentioning, I, I think this may go to another project and we'll just carry on using uh, this one, which I was perfectly happy with. And this one we can also gear up higher due to it being easier to turn. But yes, so I'm going to find the metal and think about making those brackets. I'm pleased to say I think I've figured out a lot easier way of doing it. Uh, bearing in mind that I'm going to drill holes and put a bolt through, uh, I may use that hole that's already there. What I've decided to do, I'm going to get the grinder, I'm just going to cut this off here and here, move it up, fix the motor in how we want, and then that'll be perfect. And we'll get rid of most of the bend at the same time as well. I'm, I'm not, I've decided not to cut this end because this is where the bearings join and it's a lot more complicated. So I'm going to get the grinder, nip there, nip there. Actually, it'll be easier to show you. It's easier to show you on this side, I think. Let me check I'm getting my bits right. Yeah, I've literally got to hack through that welded bit and then move this up a bit. 
Sweet. And that will save a lot of work cutting metal, bending stuff, etc. I'm going to stick on my very epic bouncy castle fan so it'll get pretty noisy, but that's going to blow all the fumes away properly. So that may have seemed, seemed a little extreme, but that is my simple logic. That is going to be cushiony my friends with some nice measuring up and a bit of welding uh, we'll check the measurements are both the same we'll make sure this is at 90 degrees whereas before it was sticking out slightly and I don't really have to do anything with that one that is bending up a couple of degrees from where it's been welded on the outside uh, but yeah I'm well happy with that is that I'm gonna give us a little bit more room so then we've got a bit of wiggle room. Actually, now that's going to be too much. Hmm. I'm just going to turn the camera off while I think about it. What I think I might do is, you can see what I mean here about those holes being too far out. I think I'm going to weld this on and then it'll drill two holes while that's welded on. I think that'll be easier. So what that means is we've got about five mil movement backwards if we need it, plenty on that side. You'll notice on the one kilowatt motor, the power will be coming out the back, but that doesn't really matter. It's more about how this lines up with the chain gear above it. That is a pain in the ass, but that's probably the best thing to do. Give me the juice, baby, give me the juice. Yes, that turns nicely. That turns nicely. So the idea is, obviously those holes, I'm gonna try welding that to that and then drilling. I think that might be easier. So get the welder on. So the welder's on 162. I'm gonna try and weld that to that. Uh, it's gonna be noisy because I don't wanna be breathing in the fumes, so I'm gonna stick the fan on. So it went on really nice that side, but a bit too windy that side. Yeah, that's not coming off, so that's fine. So now I'm just going to switch this around and do the same on the other side. Just need to clean this up first. 